Storm Team 10's David Seipel has been working remotely from home since schools are out for the rest of the year. He wanted to do some fun weather experiments that you can do right at home. Well, welcome to my weather laboratory, or I guess just uh, my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you an experiment, the interactions of hot air versus cold air. I know I have water here, but we as meteorologists love to view the atmosphere as a river of flowing water because water and air, well, they act very similar together. So what I have here, two mason jars, one filled with very hot water, one filled with very cold water, and that's what the food coloring is for, just to represent cold versus hot. You need an envelope and maybe a pan too, just to clean up any messes. So you'll take the envelope. This comes in two parts, but we'll show you the first part. Put the envelope on the blue cold mason jar and you flip it over real quick. And this will act as a vacuum, which really just physics. We can talk about that later. And then you put that on top of the blue mason jar. So make sure they are matched up fairly well. We'll move this to the center in case we do have a mess. So you'll simply slide that envelope, make sure they're still nice on top of each other and slowly pour that, pull that envelope out. All right, so what you are seeing, now all the colors are kind of mixing. It turns into a purple color. Well, that's what happens whenever you have warm air at the surface. You saw the red mason jar on the bottom the blue on top, well, cold air is very dense. It's really heavy, so it falls toward the surface and it mixes really well. So that's kind of part one to the experiment. All right, so now part two of the experiment, I went ahead and refilled the very warm water with the red food coloring, very cold water with the blue food coloring as well. So what we'll do now is we'll reverse it. We'll put the envelope, get a fresh new one, and we'll actually put the red one on top. Now do it very quickly. There is our suction. Put it on top of the blue mason jar. Make sure they're lined up. So what do you think will happen? You think the colors will mix or the red will stay on top or the blue will go to the top and the red go to the bottom. But remember, blue, very cold water or cold air, very dense. So I'll show you happens. Make sure they're very close together. And making a little bit of a mess. There we go. All right. So if you remember last time, we had a really big mix. It made a purple color, but right now, the blue is staying on the bottom and the red is staying on top. So what's happening, the cold air, the very dense cold water staying at the bottom while the hot air staying on top. In my kitchen, I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist David Seipel. Back to you. Well, we have